Hello and welcome to another ARC tutorial. Today, we're going deep. We'll be talking about the different types of survivors you may encounter on the ARC, as well as a bit about how your mind works during these encounters. This is going to cover most common survivor types since there are so many different ways to play the game. If you're new here, I'm Terrifier and I make videos about ARC. If you like videos about ARC, consider subscribing to get more videos about ARC. Let's jump into the video about ARC. So before we talk about the different types of survivors you might encounter, I want to talk about the four reactions any ARC player will have psychologically when running into another survivor. These reactions will occur in every interaction you have, whether you know it or not, so it's best to talk about them. They are fight, run, freeze, and negotiate. The first two are pretty obvious. Either fight or run away. These happen in the real world when you're in a critical situation. Freeze and negotiate also happen in the real world. People just don't talk about them, so at least we'll get some use out of this psychology in a video game. So in ARC, freezing doesn't happen very often. Usually there's a clear decision you make that may save your life, but being overwhelmed can happen and cause your brain to stop processing decisions. Freezing usually happens when there's a lot going on. There could be multiple survivors closing in on you, trying to kill you, or the same could apply to dinos, or, you know, a combination of the two. By being consciously aware that freezing could happen to you, you might be able to prevent it. Negotiation occurs when you're calm and thinking clearly. Essentially, you can talk your way out of circumstances that neither individual wants to be a part of. I've run into so many other players that stop trying to attack simply because I asked them to. There are many different types of negotiations you could have with another survivor, but we don't have time to go over them all today. Anyway, now that you know about the four types of reactions you could have when encountering a survivor, let's talk about the types of survivors you could run into. The Prison Warden. These guys trap you, knock you out, and throw you into a cage while feeding you and giving you water to keep you alive. A lot of players are forced to start new characters because of this, and if you've ever been in this situation, you know it pretty much ruins your day. Handling these survivors really just comes down to fighting or running. There's no room for negotiation or freezing with these types of players, so you're either going to have to fight your way out of it or run as fast as you can. I've never seen a prison warden that doesn't chase down prey, so it might be smart to fight if you've got some bolas or strong weapons with you. I'm sorry for you though if you do end up running into this type of player before you get any dinos to protect you, because you'll have some serious decisions to make. The Fearless When it comes to survival, having some fears is a good thing. The Fearless out there haven't learned this yet and will start to fight you without question. Got a big dino? Doesn't matter. The Fearless will fight you on foot with a spear. Their determination is strong and they don't worry about thinking or about their own death. The only death they do worry about is yours, and they'll do everything they can to make sure they're the one to cause it. These players are highly aggressive and will attack without warning. See person, kill person, it's that simple. Their brazen and obvious attacks are pretty clear to see though, since strategy is thrown out the window. There's no negotiating with these folks, and if you freeze, you're dead. You could run, but the fearless will follow you into hell and beyond. Fighting is the only way out of this one. The Wanderer Wanderers are the type of people that jump from server to server with no real home, just good dinos, lots of levels, and great gear. There are two types of wanderers, peaceful and murderous. Peaceful wanderers don't kill other players unless they're required to, and oftentimes they'll help out new players by giving them some items that will help them start their journey. For example, I was just starting out on an official server and was trying to tame some pteranodons. This guy rolls up with a rock drake and gives me some cryopods for the terrace. Happy holidays, bro. Thanks for not killing me. Hey, same. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> a bit later, he mentioned he had some more stuff for me and asked me to meet him back at the beach. He ended up giving me the rock drake, chock full of insane loot. He had this message to pass on to me and everyone else. One last thing I'll say is that some people bring light to the world just by simply being in it, man. So while you're here, just stick around. People like that are benevolent gods sent from the wildcard headquarters as angelic ambassadors for the game. No need to run or fight these guys, just negotiate and be chill. The second type of wanderer is the murderous wanderer. There's not much you can do against these guys unless you have some really powerful dinos at your disposal. The best option you have is to hide and hope they don't find you. The merciless. The merciless are brutal savages that stalk beaches, forests, and wherever else noobs are. 
They're a combination of the Fearless and the Prison Warden with much more thinking capacity and experience. The Merciless are patient, with their only goal being to get loot and hunt noobs. What stands between them and loot? You and your base. This is the type of person that'll do everything possible to completely wipe you and take pleasure in doing so. Seeing the destruction of your hard work brings them so much joy that they get addicted, having to continue hunting and wiping noobs. A vicious cycle, honestly. You can handle this a few ways. You can create a mental health center on your server and get this person the help they need. You can fight back and possibly die. Or you can let them do their business and run away, although that's not a good option in my opinion. Might as well stand and fight if they're going to wipe you anyway. The Merciless will not allow negotiations. They'll only murder you and everything you love while remaining speechless and stoic. The Cautious. This type of player is the one that survives. The Cautious are always thinking ahead, over-preparing, over-stocking, and over-researching everything. They have to know every situation they could be presented with and have something prepared for each one. This player takes the game very seriously and will grind at a feverish pace, attempting to become as well defended and stable as possible. They'll never underestimate another player and remain calm in every conflict because they've already planned ahead and have a way out. The cautious are highly open to negotiation, however, they won't hesitate to kill you if they think you're an immediate threat to their survival. You can see when you found this type of player because they'll be analyzing everything and may even initiate conversation if they've observed enough of your actions. The cautious are the players you need on your side, so don't piss them off or you'll be missing out on a great tribe mate. The Alpha. The Alpha is the king of the server, the boss, the man that runs the place, the CEO of Bipolarity. The Alpha can be any type of player that we talked about, but infinitely more dangerous. The Alpha has everything at their disposal, usually including an army of survivors, and can do anything they please on the server. If you piss the Alpha off, you might as well move servers, because there's no way they're letting you build on that one. The Alpha is the leader, the one that tells other players what to do and how to do it. If you run into the Alpha, your options are limited. Depending on what type of survivor the Alpha began the game as, he could either be ruthless or a benevolent god. There really isn't an in-between. However, Alphas are typically very calm and open to negotiations. The Alpha might want to recruit you, they also might just want to leave you alone, or they might want to completely annihilate you. Whatever you do, do not fight them without a plan. Negotiate the best you can, and hope for the best. Good luck, Survivor! Which type of Survivor are you? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for your time today, we'll see you in the next one.